So today, I've got another little slideshow for you guys. Um, I made a little witch's house. Because one of the things that I'm probably going to do is a kind of fairy tale forest type thing. And I thought a kind of witch's house in the middle of a forest would be cool. I'm thinking, because most of the time I think people tend to do a forest as a kind of... A piece of scenery off to the side of the track but I'd quite like my train to go actually right through the forest and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out for the most part um, so yeah let's let's get into the show uh, <laughs> so um, the first thing I did is I got a uh, old uh, frozen pizza pizza box and I just with my eyes not even really using a ruler, or not using a ruler at all. I just sketched out the uh, rough shape of a net that I wanted the uh, wanted the uh, witch's house to have. I knew that I wanted it to have those kind of um, sloping up, pointy ends, so that the roof would be kind of um, that kind of fairy tale, not quite realistic, a bit hyper realistic shape and once I and once I'd cut that out and put it together I then drew some of those kind of beam things I just basically I traced the outline of the sides of the house of the sides of what I built drew some lines on it and these will form those kind of like beam things or like they used that they sometimes have on like Tudor style houses and then I just started cutting them out. Um, this part was the most fiddly and laborious bit of the whole thing, cutting out all the little gaps in the in the bits of paper. So once I did that, I uh, glued the whole thing together. Um, and I don't know if you can see here. Well, it's got a knife on top of it, sort of balanced to sort of keep the keep the right shape. But um, yeah, I also cut a little hole in the bottom so that I could put a, a light going inside it if I wanted to do that in the future. And also I had some um, clear plastic that I uh, got from the, it was the sort of vacuum part of a case for batteries. And I cut out little windows and I glued them on the insides uh, so it would have like glass in the windows. Once I'd done that, I then uh, put together the roof and the roof was just a piece of cardboard with a, a score down the center and I placed it on top and sort of glued it in place um, and then I cut little rows of tiles uh, and glued them on one by one by one and sort of cut them different shapes and sizes they are a little bit large for this kind of uh, for n-gauge scale uh, but I think that sort of adds to the kind of slightly over-the-top um, kind of hyper-real look that I was going for. Um, and I, I, I did it by sort of eye and deliberately made it slightly wonky, or rather didn't put anything in place to stop it from going slightly wonky. So it would have a slightly, um, what's the word, ramshackle, higgledy-piggledy, crooked house kind of look because uh, that's the kind of thing that I wanted to have to make it a witch's house of course um, and yeah I did have plans to stick a chimney on it because of course all houses need a chimney uh, but at that point I couldn't find the drinking straws that I had that I planned to make out of so what I did next was I painted it up um, and this is the sort of basic under under colour of it I play, uh, basically my idea is to do it slightly darker than normally uh, than I'd want it to be and then dry brush to give it a, a sort of uh, nicer look because I, I just like the just like the way that sort of dry brushing looks it's got a certain quality I don't know if it's nostalgia for seeing sort of like Warhammer figures or whatever it was when I was a kid but there's just something about that dry brushed look that I I like and then I, after I finished painting it, of course, I f discovered where the uh, drinking straws were. So I popped that drinking straw on 
I, I didn't you can see here I didn't paint the uh, the the um, beams are they beams what are those sort of black lines or that you get on buildings I don't know if you know let me know in the comments what any of this stuff is called I think they're beams um, anyway uh, I, no, I didn't paint them as yet because that was going to be more fiddly and I figured it'd be easier to do it in the second coat so in the second coat I finished painting the roof and uh, I finished I painted the uh, uh, chimney and uh, yeah just gave it a dry brushing to lighten up the color and painted the door and that was basically the finished thing which I'm pretty pleased with um, I think uh, similar principles could be used to make something much more precise and less rickety knobbly looking but that's the sort of look I was going for but if anyone wanted to sort of copy it it wasn't actually very difficult to do um, and I'm sure you could just use a ruler and measure things out and get them straighter and more uh, accurate for a kind of more realistic looking building and next up I uh, managed to get hold of a Metcalf cardboard model so I, I thought it'd be cool if I built that and then we could have a sort of comparison between the two I got the uh, N-scale gardener's cottage. So first of all, got everything out of the uh, packet. There was a bunch of little things and instruction manuals. Um, some colour, some thicker card, um, and some windows which are printed, which is sort of nicer than what I was able to do. Mine are just uh, the one that I made from scratch is just sort of blank windows, but these have quite a lot of detail. And looking at the uh, net, I can already see that this building is quite significantly smaller than the one that I made. So the first part of it was just uh, popping out some of the uh, walls, the sort of internal walls um, that the windows get affixed to, and also cutting out some of the windows. There is a cool thing where actually the um, the pieces of card are already like punched out, except for just one. Uh, dimension and all you need to do is run a blade across that and the whole thing comes out so you're not cutting out those fiddly shapes which is pretty convenient and just got those uh, windows stuck on the back and you can already see like it sort of looks like something and very quickly I've got something here that's sort of starting to look like a bit of a house uh, as I put the stuff the walls around the sort of cardboard base uh, windowless walls that don't have the uh, windows in yet obviously but that was the next thing get the windows stuck in at those bits of wall that had windows stuck in and uh, also some other support structure which is uh, it's a lot um, more um, structurally sound shall I say than my scratch built one I feel like I've learnt a, learnt a lot and maybe I should have done this one first because I might have done things a bit differently and then uh, just slowly built up the uh, sort of side bit of the house. I don't know what it's called. Um, in much the same way as the first one. It sort of tucks into a little hole and uh, then you just wrap it around. And then goes on the first bit of roof, uh, which isn't bad. It's really getting close to being finished now. Uh, you can also see I stuck on a, um, a bit more of the chimney. That's it, the final bit of roof, and basically it's kind of finished, except for the exten extension parts. It actually comes with quite a fair amount of um, customization. There is, uh, I forgot to say earlier, there's uh, even sort of curtains you can put in the windows, which I did do in the largest window, but none of the smaller ones, or maybe one of the smaller ones, I can't remember. Um, but one of the parts that you can choose to put on if, if you want is a... Um, bay window and as bay windows are something I'm very accustomed to living in the UK um, that just seemed like the sort of thing that would fit into the sort of thing I was doing so on went the bay window this is probably the fiddliest little part that I had to do there was also uh, these little ornamentations like um, gables are they called sort of like beams which hold up the roof a bit and they that that's a nice little uh, addition also the little the little uh, hoods whatever you call them over the window the top windows which I really like the look of I can't get enough of just great I've got to say as I went along as per the instructions 
I was colouring in the edges so that they were a lot more subtle. Um, in fact, it kind of you can't even see the where the score marks are in the card, exposing the white card at all. It just completely blends in, which I was very pleased with. And there it is, the finished thing, uh, pretty much completed. Um, and you can see it is sizably, sizably different from the uh, from the house that I made from scratch, from the witch's house. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but I uh, have to remember to keep them separate. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the two houses. And you can see here, that witch's house is massive. Uh, it's kind of, it's a beast. It totally dwarfs the uh, cottage. Which I don't think should be too much of a problem as long as they're not that close to each other on the, uh, on the layout. I think the door is the right size, or maybe even the door of my one is even a little small compared to the other door. Um, and it's obviously not as detailed in a number of ways, but, you know, I think it's not bad considering I just made it up bit by bit. And uh, the Metcalf one was presumably made by uh, people using computers, proper design software and so on. Yeah, so my basic idea is that um, if I'm going to have some more stranger stuff, like the witch's house or the um, UFO crash, I'm going to need some more down-to-earth things to sort of contrast it, or else it will just look like a mess. So I think roughly the way it's going to work is towards one end of the layout will be a bit more down-to-earth, and as it moves towards the other end, it will get progressively more outlandish so these two buildings will probably not be very close to each other anyway i hope you got something out of this video uh and hopefully i inspired you in some ways either to get a metcalf model which is they are really nice or to scratch build your own thing or to do both um and yeah and i hope you join me as i continue my journey to make this layout